this guy check if it's um, a working key or not. First, let's check it on the bench. On my machine here, let's go to EIS tool. Let's go to key, let's check the key information. Let's go to key information, let's go, um, the frequency should be working. There you go, that's a frequency, that's good. And let's go to IR. Let's put it, let's see, I was clicking the wrong one. There you go. Let's go to key, read key information. Let's put it here. Press OK. Okay, communicating. There you go, guys. This one has a SSID, all the information here. So we got a key password too. Okay, let's escape this one and let's go go to EIS tools and check one more time. We know this card, this is a working key already. Let's check the, um, the EIS if it's communicated with the key. So test working key. W207, press OK. Let's put the new key on the IR keyhole, which is the XP400 Pro. And now it's communicating. See the blink here, and then the blink on top. And this one says remove it here, put in the EIS, insert it three times. And remove one, two, three, and press yes. Then I know it's gonna ask to put it back here, and then press yes. All right, there you go. This one is working key with the EIS. So this is good. Let's go ahead and remove these. So what we're gonna do is install it to the car and see if it'll start the car. Hopefully it's just a key, but we don't know.